Hello, my name is Grace, and I would just like to clarify that I am not a hippopotamus, as described in the previous episode. I am, in fact, a rhinoceros. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome back to RimWorld. In this episode, I want us to concentrate on our defences. Uh, in the last episode, we did build the wall over here, so that raiders can't come down past through the, the river. Um, I want us to start building on our kill box, or sort of kill area. It might not actually be a box, but a sort of, sort of funnel where we can funnel raiders through um, so that we can just line up and kill them. Oh no. Inner is having a panic. Inner is freezing in panic. This happened because of poor mood. The final straw was because she's naked. Well, that's not my fault. Uh, we have another quest turn up. Hosting an ally. Green Weasel, chief of tribe of Dorsox. Dor... <laughs> Do Dorks or Stocks is requesting a favour. Her friend Jay Biaga is interested in learning about other cultures and she wants you to host him at Gagawick for eight days. Jay will not do any work. We can accept for King, a scout. Are you any good? Decent shooting, decent melee. Passion for, uh, double passion for intellectual. You're not bad. You're eccentric, anxious, a jogger, and a wimp. You're not incapable of anything. Oh, you're addicted to alcohol. And you're addicted to go juice. Oh, holy shit. Uh, oh, we could have an advanced component or some gold. So, have we got four bedrooms? No, we haven't. Okay. Leave this one with me. We may actually accept that quest for the advanced component and the gold. They could be valuable to us. Right, the bedroom is finally done. Let's haul the uranium that we found and the rock out of the bedroom. And we can now accept that quest. And I'm going to accept it for the advanced component and the gold. Because this will help us in the later game. So, Jay has arrived in his pod. There he goes. So, we will assign this bed to Jay. He can have his own double bed. And it says he won't do any work. But we can get him to patient and bed rest. But we could also set a fishing area if we give to fish. That's a good idea. Let's set a fishing zone. And he can fish in this sort of lake area here. There we go. He can fish in that area there. Oh no, Inna is now having a panic attack. She's freezing in panic again. Right, one thing I forgot to mention yesterday, in yesterday's episode, is that uh, we are actually playing on Cassandra Classic on Strive to Survive. For a first playthrough, I thought we'd play on a vanilla storyteller um, at a, a medium-ish difficulty. Um, just so that we're aware, if it does get a bit too easy, we can increase this. And obviously we do have a lot of the vanilla storytellers that we could use if we needed. So if it does get too easy, we will increase the difficulty and maybe even change one of the storytellers. Alright, one thing I am going to do is I'm just going to extend this room a little bit. So it gives us a bit more room. For extra workbenches, it allows us to build tool cabinets and that sort of thing, which will then connect to the workbenches. So we will do this. Inner's having another panic attack. That's a lot of fish. Jay's just here for some fishing. That's all he's here for. That's all you do all day, isn't it, Jay? You fish. You don't do anything else apart from fish. Inner is having yet another panic attack. Oh, what the hell? Oh, crap. Kleptomaniac, Jay. Jay is stealing items from visitors. Because he's a kleptomaniac. What is he stealing? Taking simple... He's just stealing a meal. He steal... Oh, Jay stole... He stole from himself? What? We have an exotic goods trader turn up. Cameron, do you want to trade? With the exotic goods trader. And let's see what they have to uh, to sell. They have a donkey. They want to buy Grace. They'll only offer us 515 for Grace. Screw that. Uh, material. They have an advanced component. I might buy one. Because with the one we're going to get, they have Glit World Medicine, Pumpkin Spice, Plasteel, Crafting and Medical Skill Trainers, Jump Packs. Jump Packs would be great. 
but they don't want to buy anything from us. Let's just buy the one advanced component for now, and let's get that hold to base pretty quickly. Right, now we've expanded the workroom, I'm going to build a tailoring bench so we can make clothes. I'm going to build, build a machining table so we can make weapons. And we'll build a fuel smithy as well. And then to all these, we can build tool cabinets. Should we build wooden tool cabinets? Yeah, let's build a wooden tool cabinet. We can build a tailor cabinet. We can build a machining cabinet. And we should be able to build a smithing cabinet. Now all these will link up to the various workbenches and they will make uh, make the work speed faster at those benches. Jay, what are you doing? You are cloud watching on one of the solar generators. Is that not hot? Are you not actually going to fry yourself laying on a solar generator? You absolute moron. Inna is yet again having a panic attack. What's wrong with Grace? Grace is a wild creature. Oh no. Because we don't have anybody with the animal skill able to tame or to train Grace. She's gone back to the wild. Be free, little Grace. And let's not have a close up of your arse. If we can get Karen's skill in animals up by getting to tame pretty much everything on the map, we may be able to retame Grace. Yeah, we need level 9 animals. Karen has 4. Alright, so what animals do we have? And we have nothing but wild left we have on the map. What do we want to tame? So let's tame some alpacas. We've finished researching beer brewing, which means we can now potentially start brewing some beer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change our tea growing zone into hops. Is it hops? Yeah, hops. And that way, we can start potentially brewing some beer. Right, we're currently researching espresso machines, so hopefully this will allow us to make tea. Ah, crap, we have a mad gazelle. There you are, little gazelle. You are a little. You are a bit mad. Let's uh, let's get everybody to stand here and shoot the crap out of you as you come round the corner. Kill the gazelle. Uh, kill the gazelle. Brian, oh, you've got your hatchet out, Karen. Go and melee with your knife. Go and get that. Knife. Brian, just keep melleeing. Nice, 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 nice. We will finish off. And Karen, you will have the uh, the honour of finishing off the gazelle. Oh, crap. We now have a manhunter pack. A Ma pack of manhunting ibexes have entered the area. Three. There's three of them. Ah, oh, god damn it. Brian, how are you looking? You'll be fine. You've just got some bruises and a crack. Come on, everybody. We need you to kill the Ibexes. Here they come. Shoot them, shoot them dead. Let's run and gun this one. We don't want to get into melee combat with Ibexes, I don't think. They can't hurt us if we're out of... if they can't get close. Shoot them dead. Oh, Jay. Come on, give him... give him the old run around. Come on, one more. Nice one. Well done, everybody. And we have the Royal Ascent quest come through. So it says you have learned a way to escape the planet. The High Stelic of the Refugee Empire will perform a ceremony, a customary visit with any count of his domain upon request. 
Invite him, satisfy his royal needs for 12 days, and all of you can ride the shuttle to the Imperial Flotilla. You may then join the Imperial Court or escape to a new life amongst the stars. Earning the title of Count means completing quests to earn honour with the Refugee Empire. It may take years to finally achieve the title of Count. So, what this quest does is basically it gives us our end game winning condition, or one of our end game winning conditions. Now, we have to earn the title of Count with somebody. Uh, most likely that is going to be Karen if she can stay alive, because she already has the title of Yeoman. So, if we get her promoted through the ranks, she becomes a Count or a Countess. And then we can invite the Stelak of the Empire. We have to keep him happy for 12 days. And if we do that, he will then grant us passage off-world in his spaceship. However, during those 12 days he is with us, we are going to get constantly bombarded with raids, with everything under the sun. We are going to get hit hard. So we need to make sure we are well prepared for that event actually happening. Of course, that may not be one of the options we take. We may decide to build our own shuttle and fly ourselves off the planet. Or we may decide to go and find the shuttle that is already on the planet somewhere and repair that one. We'll have to see what happens when those come up. And the shuttle has arrived for Jay. Yep, Jay's shuttle's arrived. Let's get Jay in his shuttle. And we can send him off. And we've got our gold and our advanced component. Now this is pretty cool. The advanced component allows us to build the fabrication bench, which allows us to make our own components and in the future advanced components. And the gold allows us to build a multi-analyzer. Although I think we might need a bit more gold than that. Uh, we'll have to wait and see when the when we finish the research for the multi-analyzer. But the multi-analyzer unlocks some of the end game research. Right, we have now researched espresso machines. So what we're going to research now uh, talking of research, let's do microelectronics. That way, it will allow us to build high-tech research benches, which are a lot faster, a lot bigger, and they use electricity. It will also allow us to build comms consoles and be able to talk to spaceships passing over by and trade with those spaceships that are flying about, uh, above the planet. And the colonists are gathering to celebrate the marriage of Karen and Brian. You remember from last episode they got engaged now they are getting married and they're getting married in the dining room what a joyous occasion this is karen and jason are having a chat where's brian is he not skipped out on his wedding has he no he's, he's he's on his way back look here they are brian karen and jason are all there they've begun the ceremony and they're now celebrating the most momentous occasion of the marriage between Karen and Brian. We've had an animal transport pod crash onto our map with Nightshi? Nightshi, a male beaver. Oh crap, should we go and rescue the male beaver? Let's go stabilize and then rescue. Inna's having another panic attack. The rescued beaver has joined the colony. We now have we have an alpaca as well. So we managed to tame the alpaca and we've now got Nightshi, the beaver. Oh, Irma's died. Sorry, Inna, I spilled you another grave. We have another quest come available. Unstoppable porcupines. Euthymus Kazexis, a yeoman of the refugee empire, recently lost a scouting party to a pack of five man-hunting porcupines. He wants to draw these beasts towards you to be killed to uphold his honour. The porcupines will arrive at Gagawick in 19 hours after you accept. We can accept for Glitter World Medicine, some mechanoid components, which I don't really know what we do with them. Very advanced processors and nano calculators, most often used in creation of mechanoid tech on herb world mechanoid swarm foundries. Hmm. And some silver, uh, a limestone double bed masterwork, and a bit of gold. Now the gold could come in handy for the multi-analyzer. So I think what we will do, we will we'll accept that quest. Five man-hunting porcupines shouldn't be any match for Karen, Bulldog Slayer, and her knife. Plus we've got Jason and Brian as backup. So we'll accept for the gold and the double bed. We don't really care about the double bed, but we can put the double bed in one of the rooms. Um, so we'll accept for that. So in 19 hours time, they will turn up. Oh crap, we have a pillage. A group of Vikings from the Grey Walrus Clan have arrived nearby. 
They will attempt to burn your colony down, doing whatever they can before they leave. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Ah, oh, shit. So we've got three of them. Three guys. We've got Nazbjorn Ostmangberg with a hammer, a wooden hammer. We've got this guy with an axe. And we've got this guy with an axe. Crap. Right, come on, guys. Let's use the graves as cover again. I don't even know if graves do count as cover. But we need to go and get them. We need to stop them from burning shit down. Where's the other one gone? There was three, right? Where's the other one gone? Oh, you're still there. You've buggered off. What have you stolen? <laughs> don't know what you stole, but you stole something and buggered off. Uh, we need to stop these two. You've got a shield as well. Uh, run and gun. One's down, one's down. Ow, I want my mummy. Yeah, you will want your mummy. Right, well, good job, guys. Um, Now, you are not dead. Are you dead? You are dead. Um, How are you doing? You're bleeding out in four hours. Karen, can we get you to stabilize? And then capture. They turn it with beer <laughs> and mocha coffee. Proper Vikings, these guys. And then you, how good are you? Do we want to rescue you? Or you're good at melee, decent at artistic and cooking, decent at plants. Not bad at construction. You're actually not bad. Are you incapable of dumb labor and you're incapable of social? You are absent-minded, a gastronomist. You have, you have learned martial arts. You're jealous, you're a brawler, you're a dunce. And you're anxious. You can just be, you're just with a heavy, right? You can be a heavy of the colony. We'll equip you with the best melee weapons that we've got. Which is your axe. Your, your hammer, sorry. Um, but yeah, we will recruit you. We could do with somebody else in the colony. Right, here come the porcupines. There's five of them. Oh, well, there should be five of them. Yep, there's five porcupines. Right. Karen, Jason, Brian. Let's get behind the graves again. These shouldn't be an issue. If those Viking raiders weren't an issue, five porcupines should be easy enough to kill. Come on, kill the porcupines. Maybe those graves aren't a great place to shoot. Good shot. Where are they going? Good shot. One left. Get him killed. Karen, get your knife out. Finish it off with your knife. Well done. Well done, everybody. Karen, are you okay? Oh, you've got a few scratches and you are bleeding. Apart from that, you're fine. Right, that one isn't rotting, so we can use that one as food. We have our masterwork bed and we have the gold. The gold needs to get hauled urgently. We have our first harvest of hops. So if we get that hauled in, in fact, I need to make sure hops is going in here. And not in here. Uh, and we should now be able to build our own brewery. So let's, let's build a, a building specifically for brewing beer. Um, it doesn't need to be big. Let's make it like a five by seven building. And put a door there. And then we can make, right, well, so we'll put some barrels over here. We'll put the brewery itself there. We can also now make an espresso machine that needs to go in the kitchen, obviously. Right, we now need to add a build to make wart and we'll do that forever. So we make the wart from the hops and then we put the wort into the fermenting barrels and we make beer. All right, let's see what we can do with our espresso machine. Can we brew tea? We can brew tea. We can build a lot of tea. We have to brew, make fast tea at the minute though. 
Let's do until we have 10. Now let's do 12 again, and then pause at 3. Karen promised hope to Harveston and asked him to join. Harveston has accepted and joined Karen's community. Nice one. So, Harveston, what can you do? Went to firefight, went to patient. Bed rest, basic. You're a decent cook, right? So you can prioritize cooking. You're not bad at construction. Okay, at growing. Plant cut. And that's pretty much about it. You won't do anything else. You can fish. That's the next thing you can do. You can fish. Right, now you are a brawler. So we want to give you a weapon, right? So you've got, you've picked up the hatchet. Which was better than the hammer when I looked. And we've just had a transport pod crash. A low wage worker named Maya is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives, she'll be badly wounded. Are you any good? You are very good at cooking. Gastronomist, dog person, stoner, kind, big boned. Squeamish, submissive, and a night owl. Okay, Karen, can you... How badly are you injured? Been out in three hours. Yeah, you need to be stabilized first. Oh god, are you going to get there in time? Maybe I need to put a door in this wall. Two hours. Come on, Karen, where are you? One hour, this is going to be touch and go. 0 0.9. Two hours. Five hours. Oh, well done, Karen. Well done, Karen. You actually managed to, uh, to stabilize her there. Hopefully, well, now we've rescued her, she will join the colony. That would be great as a, a fifth person. Uh, Maya has now gotten a disease. So, Karen, pretty quickly, can you go and prioritize tending? Holy shit. Timberwolf is hunting our beaver. Do not hunt my beaver. Nobody hunts my beaver. Guys, come on. Let's get down here. Brian, I appreciate your effort with your axe, but I'd rather you shoot the damn thing. Uh, guys, can you uh, attack, please? Oh god, the the thing is now attacking us. Harvison, go. Hit it with your bloody axe. Nice, 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 nice. Well done, guys. Alright, so what I've done is I've noticed that our power is going down. And we also need lights in the room. So what I've done is I've built a second wind turbine here and uh, we've put a second growing zone down here now on here we build, we are growing smoke leaf um the reason we're growing smoke leaf is that we just want drugs right the more drugs we can get the more we can sell plus if we do get maya she does have a smoke leaf dependence so that'll help her from going crazy if she doesn't get you know a joint every now and again so, Maya has recovered from her injuries, but she's decided to leave. Now, we don't want her to leave, do we? So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and arrest her. Oh. Have you killed her? No, you've not killed her? Right, so we want to capture her now. Wow, Harveston. Just battered her with that axe. No, don't. What have you rest? No, don't rescue. Capture. There we go. Why did you drop her on the floor? Right, you can go about your business. What did you do to her? You basically just cracked her with an axe. You did, didn't do much to her. Right, so we were going to build the kill box today, which we haven't done much of, really. So let's see what we can build. Right, what bricks do we have available to us? We have... We have some granite, so let's build some granite. So let's say we build... Let's 
build granite here. Oh, no. We, oh, we have another raid coming through. Um, Bov Gaiderson and a black zebra just equipped with steel seeks and a steel pickaxe. These should be no problem whatsoever. Um, let's get our guys around here. Now I think they're just going to hang about for a bit, right? Yeah, they're just going to hang about for a bit. So our guys can go back for a bit for a while and I'll start again to try and redesign our base alright these guys are beginning their result. assault come on everybody now they're going to come down here so let's get our guys here we should be able to shoot them over the water as they come down Harveston's forgot what she was doing come on Harveston get down here here they come up we should be able to shoot them from here. Karen's actually got a shield. A pistol and a shield. Nice one, Karen. Come on, get them killed. Harveston, get ready to... Oh, they're running away. They are running away now. Harveston. Attack. Nobody runs away from us. You guys can bugger off. Harveston's forgot what she's doing again. Go, Harveston. Go. Run. Quick. No, nope. She's going to get off. Oh, well. Never mind. Right. So, I know at the start of the episode, I did say today we want to work on the defences, but we haven't actually done any stone cutting. I may actually have to get that sorted. Um, I may download the complex jobs mod so that in our work tab here, we actually have a section for stone cutting so we can actually make people specifically stone cut what I have done is I've built a wall down here um, so that it is kind of funneling people into our base from this side now so what we can do is we can build maybe sandbags or something along there this actually is an overhead mountain I can tell them to go and mine this out we have left that one block there to actually keep the overhead mountain up so what we'll do is we will then order our guys to make... Do we have access to embrasures? We do have access to embrasures. Um, so let's try... We have more granite than anything else. And we have a mad dough. Fantastic. Let's sort that out in a minute. Um, but yeah, if we make some granite embrasures and make them go across there, uh, we need a gap so that they will come through. And so that we can get out as well. Um, so, right. Let's have a look where the dough is coming from. So the dough is down there. So we just need to get our people up here. Now, if our embrasures were built, we could just hide behind the embrasures and we could shoot out. I mean, to be fair, this shouldn't be an issue anyway. We have got ranged weapons. So we should, we should take it down pretty easily. There we go. Karen, can you go and finish it off? And that's more dinner for us. And there we go. So we'll leave that there for today. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, tomorrow we will concentrate on getting our embrasures up and our defenses set up. Um, again, if you have enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment in the comments below if there's anything else you would like to see in the mod pack any other mods added or anything like that please let me know um i am maybe thinking about increasing the difficulty or changing the storyteller nothing much of note really happened today um at least nothing challenging anyway so maybe in the next episode we will change the storyteller but until then i'll see you next time bye bye